Hey, what's up everybody? This is Easy CNC. We'll be showing how to do some adaptive clearing. Um, in this video, we'll have a little bit of design, tool paths, and speeds and feeds. So let's get going. Okay, we're gonna start by sketching a simple block. We'll go five by five. Hit enter. Okay, now we're going to extrude it up about an inch and a quarter. This will give us a nice block to work with. Okay, next we're going to select the top face and do a little bit more sketching. So we'll go over about halfway. Okay, that works up a little bit okay now over now we're just kinda doing this freehand this is not planned at all we're just kinda making an interesting little um, extruded pocket here to do some adaptive clearing one inch okay Go up a little bit and go right there. Okay. We'll hit finish sketch. Now we're going to extrude this little section down. We'll go down about an inch. Hit enter. Okay, now we got a nice block to work with. We're going to add some fillets um, of about a you know, quarter inch, just because um, it'll make for a cleaner looking part because we'll be using a half inch end mill. There we go. That looks good. Now time to add some tool paths. First, when you set the part up, we'll set the stock to zero. Go back to setup, selected point, click on the corner because that's just an easy area to touch your part off. Make X, Y, and Z all face the right direction. That looks good. Next, we will select adaptive clearing and just Quickly make a tool, flat end mill, half inch, flute length about inch and a quarter, because our pocket is about one inch down. Now we're just going to select that bottom face. That's all you have to do. And we'll be adjusting some of the stock to leave. So the bottom stock to leave, we're going to put at zero, the sides at 20, and we're going to do about 100 thou cuts. So one inch down, 100 thou over. Now we're going to add some speeds and feeds. And we're going to pretend this block is made out of 304 stainless. Five teeth. And thou two tenths. Okay. Type in our info. And the website we're using is easyspeedsandfeeds.com. Okay. Thou looks good. About 10 inches a minute, so pretty slow. We'll just type in our speeds and feeds real quick. Double check everything. It's looking good. Looks good. Hit OK. Looks like it generated some nice tool paths there. Now we left 20 thou on radially, so we are going to add a little finishing contour. 
this will make it, you know, this will give it a nice clean finish. That all looks good. Speeds and feeds are already set. So we will simulate. The turn stock on. And so far that's looking good, about a hundred thou over. You can experiment with um, your uh, depth cuts. Um, I usually go about a hundredth out of start and then when I uh, run a production job, I'll, I'll try to crank it up as high as it can go. But definitely start on the lower side and listen to your machine, play with your speeds and feeds and just find some that works. Okay, that looks good. Finish toolpath did a good job there. All right. Well, that's our video for today. I hope you guys liked it. Hope you can find some use out of it. Um, tell me what you guys want to see next and uh, be on the lookout. Thanks.